<laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's Hello! Howdy friends! How is everyone tonight? I am excited to be back with more of the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. It has been a couple days, right? What is today? Today's Thursday, I think? It sounds like a Thursday. Feels like a Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Anyways, <laughs> it's been a couple days. I've missed doing the PS2 Gauntlet, playing these PS2 games and whatnot. I did get to play a little bit of PS2 games uh with my brother what was it yesterday i guess it was and uh i mean we only played two we played uh we played a little bit of guitar hero 5 because you know why not and a bit of worms 3d fort something i forget exactly what it was called man i gotta tell you i was extremely disappointed with the worms 3d fort game thing because we love, me, him, and, and a friend of ours, well, I don't know if the friend of ours likes it so much, but me and him, we love the, the Worms games. They're a lot of fun to play, man, to, you know, just try to destroy each other, and it's a, it's a, it's a ripping, roaring good time, whatever, right? Anyways, point is, the one on PS2 is so slow, man. Like, it takes forever to do anything, there's constant lag, even the quote-unquote sudden death mode is, like, not dangerous at all like in the the normal 2d one that we usually play wmd or whatever it is it like the the water level slowly rises higher and higher and higher and anybody whose head is under the water dies like it's pretty it's pretty simple man it makes a lot of sense but holy hell in that one like even whenever the quote-unquote flood happens like it floods the very bottom of the area and that's it so as long as you're not like on the ground level then like you're fine you know it's kind of ridiculous uh, the base building, fort building stuff was kind of fun, though. Like, I did appreciate that. So, in, in this one, we'll play it on stream sooner or later. But in this one, you, like, you build up forts and shit. And, uh, like, depending on what forts you have, you can use different kinds of weapons. Or, or you can't use certain weapons, etc. Um, so, like, that's neat. You know, I, I, I like that mechanic. You can also build, like, hospitals and weapons factories. All kinds of neat things. But... Like, the rest of the game is just way too slow. Way too slow, way too much lag, etc. Hey, what's up, Nate? Thank you for being here, bud. Happy to see you. Anyways, as far as what we're doing today, though... Uh, <laughs> look for the captain near the shoreline. Press select to do something. Oh, never mind. We're dead. <laughs> uh, so we're playing Medal of Honor Frontline. This is actually a game... One of the only games... I think I have two two games left from when I was a, you know, younger person, uh, uh, mid-teens and whatnot, um, and this, this is one of them. I really wish there was options somewhere. Um, I, I really need to change to inverted. I, this is not working. Uh, <laughs> I need, I need to invert, please. Captain's taking cover near the destroyed Higgins boat. Okay. Is, is this is this the captain? Hi, captain. Yep, I'm here, captain. Yep. Okay. I, I can do that. Uh, triangle is jump. That's shoot. That's to be expected, I guess. That's crouch. Aim, okay. Um, yo, what up, Rue? R2 doesn't seem to be anything. All I know is right now that I really, really wish I could change it inverted. Um, fire on bunkers to provide cover. Okay. Uh, probably not with the pistol, though. Bad caught already, huh? <laughs> I take it you're not a, uh, a fan of Medal of Honor. Uh, I guess it probably wants me to fire, like, on these bunkers. Man, I can't. I need inverted control so bad. All I know is that I know nothing. That's, yeah, honestly, fair. You've never heard of Medal of Honor, really? They weren't, like, as popular as Call of Duty or anything, as far as I know. But they're, like, they're pretty popular games, I feel like. Do we, uh... Do we... Oh, nope, there's more of them. 
Wait, can I not walk and aim at the same time? No, okay, I can. I must be stuck on something. It says to fire on bunkers. I'm I'm doing so. The squad members are hiding in craters and behind obstacles along the beach. Wait, am I supposed to be finding some? Uh oh my lord, that font is like impossible to see. Okay, so every once in a while my capture setup will like wash things out. Um that's not what's going on right now, is it? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's not my capture setup. That's just how it looks. I think that says rescue four pin down squad members. So I guess I need to find them. You look dead. That's one of your favorite quotes, actually. Did it come from this game? Uh, Because I'll be completely honest. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to uh, <laughs> to what was going on in the game. I was just I was busy talking about warm sports, man the most important topic obviously insert meme of man squinting to read tiny tiny piece of paper that's what it felt like oh my lord dude all i want in life is to be able to to invert these controls hold on i i yeah i have to abort the mission i have to go back to the main menu i don't know why there wouldn't be an options menu in the actual game itself but holy hell dude i i can't do it it's impossible some Greek philosopher, and you're sure someone said before him too? Probably. Probably. It just like came out of nowhere, so I didn't know if maybe like, uh, if it was something that was said in the game or whatever. Okay. Bonus controller. Uh, invert. Well, yeah, go ahead and turn crosshairs on. Crosshairs are nice. Grenade cook? Yeah, why wouldn't you have cooking grenades turned on? And invert the Y axis. All of it, please. Thank you. <laughs> Turn on all the fucking options, man, because holy hell. All right. That's fine. Hopefully, we can skip through the uh, intro cutscene so we don't have to watch it again. What's crosshairs? You don't play much shooters, do you, Rue? Crosshairs are just the little uh, markers in the middle of the screen so that you can tell where you're aiming. Oh, I said something about not knowing. That made you say it. Fair. Fair. Yeah, honestly, I don't play a whole lot of shooters myself. It's a reticule? Yeah, kind of. Kind of like that. I uh, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty back in the day. Like, around the, the PS3 era, era. But, uh, I don't know. I just started getting bored of them, to be honest. So, that's better. I'm still going to be terrible because I don't play shooters on uh, controller anymore. I only really ever play them on keyboard mouse. Like, this is still going to be real bad, don't get me wrong, but it should be a little bit better than, <laughs> than what it was a moment ago. Hopefully. Alright, listen up. When the ramp drops, move out. If you get lost, look for me. Press start to view objectives. Done. Select to get hints. Oh, you can, like, scroll through hints. Look for the captain. The captain is taking cover near the destroyed Higgins boat. Look for the cat. Oh, it's the same hints over and over again. Well, that's not as helpful as I thought it might be. All right, I'm trusting you, Captain. Clear the ramp. So when did this one come out? Because you literally have COD World War II, and this is basically how it starts. Well, this is... Is this Normandy? The... the Regardless, like, uh, the ones that are based on real wars are gonna have, like, some recycled kind of content. Because they're based on real wars. So they, they, you know, do the same sort of, uh... The same sort of, of missions for the famous ones. D-Day? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, probably World War II. I wasn't paying attention to the time or anything like that. But I'm assuming this is, this is Normandy right now. You can never get bored of shooters. They don't feel all the same at one point or another. Yeah, uh, totally. <laughs> Definitely. Never, never feel like uh, you're playing the same thing over and over and over again. Honestly, like, different shooters is one thing. But a lot of times, it'll be like... Oh, God. I'm, like, stuck on that. Oh, you can't actually walk around when you're aiming. Okay, you can just, uh... 
you can just like uh tilt lean that's what it is anyways like playing different shooters is one thing but like the multiplayer shooters is what i i got extremely bored of because that's what to me you know just it, it literally did just feel like doing the same thing over and over and over and over again i got bored of it man like hey mr noodle welcome home I'm super excited for whatever this surprise dinner is that you're talking about making me, but won't tell me anything else about. I'm used to being able to aim and shoot at the same time. So it feels really weird not being able to do so. Also, our objective is still just rescue four pinned down squad members. So do I just need to find them? Are you a pinned down squad member? Hi there. Fire. Give you some covering fire. Okay. Uh, fire. <laughs> All right, there we go. Gave you covering fire. Next. Are you pinned down, good sir? That is not the reload button. What is the reload button on this one? Go. Run. Run away. I'm I'm trying. I'm firing. There you go. Two or four. Uh, that's crouch. That's aim. That's shoot. Circle? Nope. Circle also switches weapon. X. No, apparently you just can't reload. <laughs> what? No, there's got to be a way to reload, man. So that centers. Left, down. No, none of the D-pad does it. Square changes weapons. X does nothing. Okay. I guess there really is no way to, uh, to reload. That's interesting. Uh, I need to find some health. I know there's some way. Oh, hi. That was a... Big boom. Health, please. Thank you. Uh, don't tell me what to do. Sorry, I gotta reload. I would have reloaded, like, ahead of time. But, uh, for some reason, this game doesn't let me do that. <laughs> Where is the other bro? I'm excuse uh... I'm looking for you. Is that you? Are you pinned down, sir? Need some covering fire? I can offer covering fire. I I shall fire so that you can be covered, sir. Can you maybe move? Am I not giving you covering fire? I feel like I've been giving you cover. There you go. There's your there's your cover. Try not to <laughs> try not to get murdered, bro. Go start cooking towards the end of the stream. It doesn't take long. That's good. I am absolute. Oh. I am absolutely starving. Wait a second. Did I die die? I fucking die died? What happened? Did I get like blown up or something? Captain located. Okay. Well, at least now we know like what we're doing exactly. Okay. Here's one. Hi, guy. I'm here to protect you. Yeah, I am starving. So whatever it is, I hope it's good i mean i believe it will be but my lord are you are you needing cover no you you need cover there you go you got your cover let's fucking go dude cod one with zombie halo with custom games with rank multiplayer felt so samey on cod and you got burned out yeah that's basically what happened with me although i never cared for zombies either i never cared much for it a lot of my friends absolutely loved zombies and i i get it but to me, that felt even more samey because, like, you were on a limited map. Like, the only thing that I liked about it was the randomness of the, the guns that you could get and whatnot. Because that was different, like, every time. But... Hi, friend. I'm aiming for the bunker. I'm shooting at the bunker. Will, will it work if I shoot with the pistol? It did. <laughs> for some reason, you're like... Shooting a pistol from this distance, I don't think would really do a whole lot of good, TBH. But you know what? What do I actually know? Rejoin squad at Shingle Embankment? Shingle Embankment. Is there a run button? Oh. That bro just got blown up. Is this a Shingle Embankment? Okay. Wait, what do you want me to do? Rescue engineer at an at the end of the embankment. We gotta get the water clear. I guess it's this this side over here. Are you the I hope you're not the engineer because uh you be dead, bro. 
Uh, you looking pretty dead too. Hey, hey. hi. How are you? Stay behind you and keep shooting. Okay. Yup. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, are you coming? <laughs> Bro. Do I have to like... Do I have to get behind you now? I can't get in there. Uh, yeah. Dude, can we, can we move? Maybe? Guy, what are you doing? Let's go. I'm shooting. Do you see me shooting? Uh, okay. What if we shoot with the other weapon? Will that make you happy, Mr. Engineer, sir? You're not. What are you doing? Fucking move, dude. I won't make it back with this little Vitalors unless you give me cover. I heard you the first time. Keep shooting. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. Let's go. Bruh. What are you doing? Move. I mean, he could, but you don't you don't think anyone might. Yeah, I mean, I could eat if it's like something super easy to eat or whatever, but like I just don't want to like stop and be chewing on Mike all the time, like stop talking and be chewing on Mike. Like I don't I don't think that's a uh, quality content, you know. Uh right now I just want to know how to get dude bro to fucking do something. <laughs> Dude, like, why won't he fucking move? Why are you playing on the TV down here? I don't know. YouTube must have started playing me or something like that. Oh, we got a Thompson? That's cool. Oh, now he's fucking coming. Yep. Yep. I'm staying with you. Where are you? Oh, shit. You, you move fast. Hi. Well, they technically be ASMR. I despise the sound of uh, food being chewed, so like, no. <laughs> it's fork food you don't think will be crunchy? You Oh, that he said fire in the hole. You hate ASMR in general? Yeah, that's fair, man. Like, ASMR just doesn't do anything for me, so I totally get why. You wouldn't be a fan of it? We're gonna die before we fucking get over here, aren't we? No, please just give me the stuff. We'll never get inside that bunker unless we lose the two machine gun that's guarding it. Uh, Hansen, two machine gun. If you can make it across that minefield to the turret, you can use it against those nests up there. Why is it always me, man? Why can't someone else make it across the minefield? Oh, uh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. I don't... There must be mines here or something. Hi, are you friendly? You don't look friendly. Okay. <laughs> Asmer's still alive. Asmer's still alive. Patterson. Patterson is still alive. Where is this turret that they're talking about? Oh, hi there, friend. Uh, probably not, friend. Yeah, expect a lot of really bad shooting like that, by the way, because, again, not a console first-person shooter player. Press action to use gun. Uh, Die, maybe? You too? Do you want to go away? Uh, hey, I think y'all are dead. Oh, hi, I think they might see me now. Can I, like, can I aim with this? No, it doesn't look like it. That's too bad. It'd be really nice if I could aim a little bit better, like maybe aim down sights. Do we have infinite ammo with it? I hope we do. You just forget to eat when you're zoned? I'm not really like zoned on anything at the moment. I mean, I'm kind of zoned on the game, I guess, but... Destroy MG nests on ridge. Are they not destroyed? Is there another one? Use the machine gun to shoot at the MG nest on the hill between the two bunkers. I thought I did. I see another one's up now, or another dude's up now, but... There you go. Are they dead now? Hello? Hello, game? Are we done? Oh, nope. These guys are back alive again. I mean, if they're just going to keep respawning, then what's the point? 
saw a girl trying to eat a pickle ASMR and she choked on the spicy juice and somehow managed to choke in asthma. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you choke in ASMR? <laughs> I don't understand the whole ASMR thing. I know a couple people that like get the, the feels from it or whatever, but... Oh, hi there. <laughs> hi, enemy soldiers in the bunker below. I don't think it's very wise to just walk up to someone on a turret. I don't think that's generally how you would uh how you would deal with this sort of situation. Maybe like sniper fire from afar or or a, a grenade might work out okay or something. I don't think you would just like run up right in the line of fire. But, I mean, I'm not a soldier. What do I know, man? I could be wrong. Maybe that's, like, <laughs> totally... Oh, I'm fucking dead. Holy shit. I hope there's a checkpoint. There's no checkpoints? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we might just be playing this one mission forever anyways. So, like, no worries, Rue. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You think it was a TikTok that was sent to you? Speaking of TikToks and things, man, I know I've told Noodle already. I don't think I've told anyone, uh, any of you guys. The, uh, the episode of My Tits on YouTube is actually doing pretty well. It's doing a lot better on YouTube than it is on TikTok, which is not something that I, uh, expected. Like, I expected it to do better on TikTok in general, but... Is it the next fuck tits? What? <laughs> oh, is this the next fuck tits? <laughs> Maybe. It may end up being the next one that's just fucked 20 times, man. Because holy hell. Oh, yeah, by the way. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's honestly, that's that game in a nutshell, man. It's just fuck. Over and over and over again. But then at the end of yelling fuck at it a bunch of times, you're like, you know what? I had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> so I couldn't think of a better way to, uh, a better way to represent it than, than the way that I did. I saw that you liked and commented on TikTok. I greatly appreciate that, man. I don't know like how the, uh, I don't know how the algorithm works on TikTok as far as like likes and stuff go. Oh, um, but I'm assuming that likes and comments help out on the TikTok algorithm. Oh shit, I guess I gotta go speak to the Le Capitan first. But yeah, the uh, the one on YouTube is over a thousand views, which is pretty dope, man, honestly. Like I know in the grand scheme of things, a thousand is, isn't all that much, but for me, that's, that's pretty big. And uh, I'm definitely happy with it. So thank you a lot to all of you for liking and commenting and just, you know, doing the doing your thing. Alright. Yeah, I'm ready. Start moving. Start moving. Yep. Oh. I'm I'm shooting. It's supposed to help boost. The only other thing that boosts the algorithm is more sharing. Fair enough. So, I mean, I figured it would, because that's the way it works on most social media platforms, you know? The more engagement, no matter the kind of engagement you get, the more it gets passed around. Which, honestly, I think is one of the things that helped with the, the Elden Ring one, is that it actually got a few dislikes, which, you know, is kind of shady to see on my first big video, having a, a good handful of dislikes. I assume it's because of all the, uh, the, the fuck fucking, uh, but yeah, whatever. Point is though, <laughs> dislikes on YouTube are just as good as likes as far as, uh, the algorithm is concerned. So whatever, I'll take what I can get, man. Yeah, I'm over here, boss. I, I can do that. Yep. I mean, if the big video has dislikes, that's a good thing because it means it's reaching. Yeah, well, and that's what I was saying. Like, it, it sucks just because, like, it feels bad, you know, that I spent a bunch of time on it and seeing there's a good handful of dislikes. But, again, at the same time, like, it, it's making the rounds. It's getting views. Um, 
so like I'll I'll definitely take it. Hey, what's up, Silence? Nice to see you again, bro. I appreciate you being here. Uh, you made it just in time to watch me play some Medal of Honor horribly. Don't worry, it's only the third time we've played this fucking mission, so <laughs> I'm I'm sure I'm sure we won't have to do it again. <laughs> If I can figure out this uh, this terrible boss that we're on at the minute. That fucking ladder right there, man. That's the, the true boss of the game, you know? Can y'all just, like, die? I don't know if it's these nests or the ones up here that it's talking about. Need to take out. Uh, so I'm just gonna, like, shoot at everyone and hope for the best. Especially since we can't aim down sights. Am I shooting over his head or something? Like, he's shooting at me. I'm shooting at him. We're both shooting at each other. And nothing's happening. Alright. I'm glad it doesn't seem like there's any overheating or anything on this gun. It's what I would normally expect from, like, uh... Oh, that went a lot quicker than it did last time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's going to be dudes that are going to just walk straight into my line of fire. <laughs> Ladders are not trustworthy. Very true, man. Not even a little bit. Ladders are the the, the true uh, BB, BBEG of the world. I, I forgot my acronyms for a second there. Hello. Oh, hi there. Nice to see y'all are dumb enough to literally just walk straight into the fucking thing still. All soldiers eliminated. Cool. What are we doing now? Apparently, I've murdered everyone. So, what, what's next? I ran through a minefield. Got hit by multiple mines. Shot like a thousand times. Oh, probably shouldn't shoot like those guys. <laughs> Acronyms are hard. They can be, man. You're not kidding. I'm just happy I stumbled upon my tits as an acronym because, yeah. <laughs> Hello, boss. I am here. You, you told me, are you not the one that yelled at me to say here? Is it you? Are you, are you the captain? The, the door doesn't open. Who, who said Patterson? Someone yelled for me. I'm in command? Wait, aren't you the boss? Holy hell, that was the end of the mission. We literally died right before the end. I'm so, <laughs> that's so annoying, man. We were so close last time. Oh, well. At least, at least it's over now. We beat it now, and we'll never have to do it again, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh. Yes, definitely save. Because if we don't save, and then something happens, then we're going to have to do it. And I don't want to do it, man. We did it twice. That's enough, right? Choose code name. Uh, we are Laystream. Uh, R-E-A-M, if I could remember how to spell. Stream. Uh, is there, like, a backspace? Yeah, down there. Who the hell puts backspace in the bottom left-hand corner? Is that how, like, old typewriters were? I don't think so. At least not the ones that I've used. I'm, I I, I want to say the backspace was up in the top left or right-hand corner. It just seems weird as hell having it in the bottom left, you know? That should be, like, the shift key or something. <laughs> oh. Uh, next mission, I guess. Into the breach. Let's fucking go. At least the frame rate seems a lot better on this one. What was uh the name of it? Kill Zone was the the other first person shooter that we played so far, and like that one there, story wise and whatnot seems really interesting. But holy hell, was that frame rate rough? Also, is it just me or does the world look different? Huh. I don't know, like, if it's the lighting is different or what, but yeah, it looks completely different to me. Oh. Hi, friends. I don't suppose I have a, uh... I don't suppose I have a... Uh, fucking... Grenade yet, do I? Doesn't, doesn't appear as though I do. I don't even know how grenades work in this game. Who storms a place and doesn't bring any grenades with them? That seems like a terrible idea. Can I not, like, flip that gun around and use it? No. Okay, wait. Can I not do anything? Oh, hi there. Well, I guess I would... 
That was probably one way to get rid of the enemy. Uh, it'd be a lot easier than how I did it, I suppose. Oh, hi. Uh, sorry, I don't play console shooters that often. Just give me a moment to shoot you. Please and thank you. Uh, die. Everything is awesome. Uh, do you mind? I don't appreciate being shot, bro. Honestly. It's not very nice. What is that? Is that salt? Oh. Uh. That sounds like a machine gun. There's. Can I hit him from somewhere else? Do you. Are you gonna reload maybe at some point? Or is it an infinite one like the one that I just dealt with a moment ago? Oh, never mind. I can just. <laughs> I can just get you from there, I guess. Machine gun bunker cleared. Dope. Oh, wait. Those aren't friendlies. Wait, where did my guys go? My guys were out there a minute ago. I hope they didn't, uh, you know, bite the dust or something. I will take the bullets, please. And thank you. All right, what are we doing? Destroy radio link to upper gun deck. Shoot the red and green light on the... Oh, you're not friendly? Where did all my guys go? Oh, you're not friendly either, are you? <laughs> I really wish we could, like, reload ahead of time before we go into an area. But it doesn't seem like it matters what button I press. Reloading doesn't seem to exist. Uh, <laughs> I love shooting him in the foot and he just, like, dances around. Uh, is, he, is he down? Okay, he's down. So two, two hits with the back of a gun can kill you, but a couple shots to the foot? Nah. I think he's dead. Okay, shoot the blinking red light. I don't see any blinking lights, but uh, that'll work. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. And look at that. Like, two or three of your bits made it in the cup. <laughs> uh, doesn't that blow up if I shoot it? <laughs> Wait, did that hurt me? Was I too close to it? How did that not hit you? What do you mean? I was I was looking right at you. That definitely hit you. Just that, uh, Lord. Only two? I said two or three. That falls in that category, right? Uh, shoot him in the ass. <laughs> oh God, he's dead. That's fine. Everything's fine. I need some help. I'm gonna die. Can I, can I collect? Do I have to like shoot it? Uh, nope, I had, to, I had to fucking jump on top of it. That makes sense. Oh, God. There's a ladder. That shot wasn't accidental, by the way. That's just the only way I can reload. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not friendly, so... <laughs> I really hope there's no friendly fire, because my new policy is just shoot everyone and see what happens. Uh, I really should stop, like, aiming down sights, too, because it doesn't work, right? Oh, hi. Thank you for blowing me up. I appreciate that. Uh. <laughs> he had his hands up. I was trying to let him live, but... Dickhead, uh... Decided to shoot. Goddamn, shoot him in the dick. I, I would try to, but, uh... <laughs> but I am terrible with a fucking controller, dude controller is terrible you found some peeps hell yeah you got four come on come out here there you go <laughs> we we had to take a few shots to the face to do it but i think i think i got him for you <laughs> oh man oh 49 cents a pack i didn't even see that part hell yeah love i'm glad you got your gross marshmallow candies do, 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 no one sees me. Oh. I'm not here. You don't see me. Uh, that missed. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to... Nope, nope. Oh, God. I can't fucking... There we go. <laughs> Dude, I suck with a controller, man. You have no idea. Look, if I was on keyboard and mouse right now, I would be at least 10% better. <laughs> oh, God. 
Uh, uh, die. Thank you. There we go. All right. Is there some music playing or something? It sounds like there's like some drums in the background or something. They having a concert in the middle of uh, all of this right now. The Reese eggs were only 55 cents. I'm going to shoot you. I hope that's okay. Does the barrel blow up? It does. Is that okay? Oh, hi. So you can shoot barrels too. Good to know. Good to know. I think I hit him. Yeah, he's dead. He's done zone. Get fucked, bro. Thank God for that field surgeon pack. What are you? Ammo? M1 Grand Bullets. Is it Grand or Grand? I never know. I'm not a gun nut. We shot him growing up, but I'm not like any sort of expert or anything. Go ahead. Stick your fucking head up again. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Kind of creepy. You know what? That's what kind of shooters I do like. I hate how you can't aim down sights and fucking move at the same time. Why aren't you dead? I shot you twice. I know it was just like in the hip, but holy hell, dude. But anyways, like horror shooter games, those are a lot of fun. I do like those ones. Uh, the last one that I played was... The last shooter that I played through entirely, even, I guess. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the name of it now, though. Ow, dude. Did your mom teach you manners? You don't shoot a bro in the back. Uh, what if I just smack you with my gun? Are you dead? Uh, now you are. Holy hell, what's it called? I think it's set in, like, Russia in the future. Like, in, after some sort of apocalypse or something. And, like, the overworld is completely toxic. And you have to wear, like, gas masks and whatnot. There's three of them in the series. I can't remember the name of it. Holy hell. That is annoying the shit out of me. You just found your Game Boy SP? That is dope, dude. I really want to, at some point, take a Game Boy SP. Metro! Thank you so much, Nate. That is the one. Yes, I just played through the first Metro. Well, I guess at this point, it's probably like a year ago or something like that. But... <laughs> but that's the last shooter I actually played through, and it was pretty fun. It had some problem areas. But it was still a lot of fun. Also, um, it would be nice if maybe I could actually shoot the gun. Uh, oh my lord, please dive. Metroid? I mean, Metroid is fun too. Metroid's a lot of fun. But yeah, Metro. Also, Game Boy Advance SP. Dope. <laughs> I was going to say, I want to get one of those. And uh, they have this mod that takes the Game Boy Advance SP and... Uh, adds like turns it into a non-folding unit and i think that would be a a really cool mod to do so it ends up having like the body of a regular game boy but you know it's a game boy advance with the backlight and all that stuff i think that'd be cool uh so wait am i supposed to clear them out from over here oh i mean the airplane took care of that for me there we go. <laughs> you got a shit ton of games, including a Scooby-Doo one and one for Teen Titans. Captain has marked. Okay. Oh, smoke grenade. I don't think it ever told me how to use the smoke grenades. R2. Nope. R1 is shoot. L1. Nope. L2. Nope. Up. Right. Down. Left. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do, game. Colt 45. I'm switching the weapons. Move cl Oh, it's just an action button. Okay. Uh, can I, like, get the hell out of here? Because this place is going to go up in fucking smoke. <laughs> Hopefully this is far enough away. Oh, shit. Hi. Ah, things are blowing up. <laughs> Wait. Is that one of my guys? Hi. How did you get over here? Of course you're placing me on a special mission. I'm the only one that fucking does anything, it seems like. Murder them in warm blood. You gotta, oh, dude, I just got a terrible image in my head of, like, someone drowning in a vat of, like, warm blood. 
That's disgusting. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, shit ton of games, including Scooby Doo and one for Teen Titans. Dude, I miss Game Boy so much, man. Like the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, all of them. I turned on subtitles. I did. I know I did. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field to field hedgerow fighting unleashed a break. Do you want me to cook food now or just wait? Uh, what are you. I don't know what you're cooking. You said it's fork food. I guess, like, as long as it would be okay, semi cooled. Like, if it doesn't need to be eaten super hot, then go ahead and make it. Because, like, it'll probably take me a little while to, to eat while I'm streaming. So I don't know if it'll be hot. Lazy enchiladas? Uh, sure. You can go ahead and make them, I guess. Just found a Yu-Gi-Oh one too. Ooh, why? Now I'm thinking about it. You're welcome. <laughs> if I have to think about it, you have to think about it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's. <laughs> What could go wrong? August 16th, 1944. I know nothing about history, so I don't know what that day is. I'm sure it's important, but I couldn't tell you why. Hey, leaf green and blue. That's super dope, man. Pokemon were by far my favorites. Of course, I mean, it's Pokemon, you know? Taquitos baked in enchilada sauce and cheese. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Like I said, I'll definitely, uh, if you want to go ahead and make me some, I'll, I'll go ahead and eat some. Or, uh, like, if you want to go ahead and cook them now, I mean, I'll, I'll, I think it'll probably be okay. I don't see why not. Uh, four shots in the groin. You're welcome. My favorite weapon was the M1 Grand, I guess. Sure, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Overall rating, gold? Really? <laughs> I feel like we did so bad. Like, 25% accuracy? That's actually surprising to me, too. I feel like we did a lot worse than that. Famous last words. What could go wrong? Dude, I remember a uh, Rhett and Link video. Um, I think the, the video was called, like, Famous Last Words or something like that. But it was hilarious. It was just a bunch of skits of people, like, saying something and then dying, ironically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good video. Good video. It's old at this point, though. Like, pretty damn old. I don't even remember. Hold on. Famous Last Words... Uh, Rhett and Link. Yeah, that video came out in 2012. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> that, that makes me feel so old. 2012? That came out almost exactly 10 years ago. August 7th, 2012. Well, fuck me, man. What Pokemon should I choose? I was about to ask you which game you're playing, but I guess it doesn't actually really matter. I personally, anytime I play through a Pokemon game for the first time, I pick the water starter every Good single morning, time. Uh, my it's actual favorite in Pokemon, Pokemon Red, Red, Blue, Good. Yellow is either Bulbasaur or Squirtle. I like Charmander a lot too, don't get me wrong, but like Bulbasaur is the cutest thing in the fucking Pikachu movie. Uh, Detective Pikachu, I mean. And Squirtle was my very first Pokemon, so like, yeah. Prompted an assassination attempt on the Führer. A cadre of high-ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used oh, shit. On his life to clean house Bombs, people are living. Power. Other people Whatever are dying. I don't know. Sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler. You have an idea? What's the idea? He's appointed new leaders more in Is it a good idea? idea. <laughs> that man is bent on sacrifice. That's one of the things I really liked about Pokemon Yellow is that you could get like all of the starter Pokemons cuz yeah. Green Onion Turtle, let's go. Oh, we want a poll? Yeah, we'll do a poll for it. It was previously run by uh manage poll. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisors in charge. Jimmy, we need to Which Pokemon for uh, Charmander. First division is still Intelligence states that a German There's like some history stuff going on in the background, but I don't 
know what that is. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you got one minute. Everyone's got one minute. You can vote. Which Pokemon should Rue get? I can't vote on my own polls, so yeah, but my vote is on... Oh, fuck, man. That's a hard one. So add one extra vote to... Uh, mm, add one extra vote for uh, fuck, dude. It's so hard to pick between Squirtle and Bulbasaur. Uh, I guess Bulbasaur. Yeah, <laughs> one extra vote for Bulbasaur from from me, man. And I'm pulling up the results now. Okay, do 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 do. Let's see. Right now, Squirtle's in the or Squirtle has one. Bulbasaur has three. So I think it's gonna end up being Bulbasaur, man. By the looks of it, it's looking like Bulbasaur. Everybody's only got a few seconds left to get their votes in, and that's it. Yeah, Bulbasaur won by a fair bit. Get you that? Uh, how did Silence say? Green Onion Turtle. <laughs> oh man. You are the one Squirtle. Like I said, Squirtle is my most nostalgic Pokemon because it was my very first Pokemon and I fucking love him. But like Bulbasaur is super fucking cute, man. Like super cute. And uh, Bulbasaur is good against the first two gyms and later on against uh, uh, what's his name? The, the electric dude. So yeah. Anyone got a nickname? He a boy? Uh, I have never nicknamed a Pokemon in Pokemon. Bulby. I would probably go Balby instead of Bulby, but either one, honestly. I'm an alliteration kind of person too, so if I did, like, yeah, I'd probably do something like that. Balby the Bulbasaur. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Oh my lord. For someone that, like, didn't watch Jimmy Neutron and stuff all that much, love, you sure do talk about that a lot. <laughs> Volba. Volba. <laughs> Volba just makes me think of Volva. <laughs> yup, that, that Volva clap, 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 slap, slap, slap. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, Nate. How about you? Do you have any ideas? <laughs> oh, what are we doing? Anyways, okay. Collect resistance drop at insertion point. Uh, new machine gun in church tower. Secure submarine fueling roster. Breach wall to the docks. Locate submarine fueling dock and stow away in cargo crate. That's that's a lot of stuff, man. Do you really want me to do all of that? Like, how about I do like one of those? green onion as the uh are you playing the game boy advance like the leaf green or are you playing blue because in blue you had a uh, character limit of what like seven or something or no i guess it was probably like 10 wasn't it it's longer than i than i thought it was leaf green leaf green probably has the same sort of uh limit now that i think about it though oh man i i hate like that there's not real aim down sights it's like uh it's like a uh, Halo style aim down sights, man, where it just zooms in a little bit. Favorite evolution? Um, I forgot to answer. Ooh, that's a hard one. I mean, can I just pick Eevee? Because, like, because, <laughs> like, Eevee's probably my favorite out of the bunch, to be honest. But I guess if I had to pick one, probably Jolteon, maybe? But it's really hard to say. Sylveon, the pink dream-eating ribbon bitch. <laughs> oh, you like Green Onion? Every Pokemon shall now be named after food. Good luck, man. Oh, wait, am I supposed to be shooting someone else or are we going somewhere else? Glaceon? Glaceon's cool. They're all cool. Like, I do like them all, but... Look for a white cigar box. Okay. Why, though? Like... I still don't even know how to use a grenade. Like, thank you for giving them to me, but... Oh, you actually have to, like, select it. That's fucking stupid. Hi there. Uh... 
Was that a good throw? No, that was a bad throw. Sylveon and Espeon for Noodle. They are, you collect them. They are all awesome. Everyone agrees. They are all awesome, which is fair, honestly. Like, <laughs> they are all amazing. They're just super cute. I really like the uh, Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu game. Um, I played through the Eevee one, and yeah, this like having the Eevee that never evolved, I it was actually really nice. And using it throughout the entire game. I need to go back and because like I did actually finish that one. That's the the last Pokemon game that I finished. Um, but I need to go back and do the challenge in that one because they have. It only has the original 151 Pokemon plus Mel Meltan. Um, that's that's all the Pokemon that's in it. So, but what they did is they have one trainer in the game for every single Pokemon, and they only use one Pokemon. And uh, there's a goal in the game of going around and beating every single one of them. But the thing is, whenever you battle them, you can also only use one single Pokemon. And it has to be the same Pokemon as them. So it's like a, a 1v1 of the same Pokemon sort of thing. It's it's neat. I want to do it one of these days. You want a Dragon-type dragon, dragon type evolution so bad? I'm honestly surprised that they haven't made any new ones recently. I guess shooting uh, my pistol at that distance probably wasn't the smartest thing. I really hope that's not friendly. Oh, you know what? I think it actually is friendly. I know pistols aren't the best weapon, especially at that range, but, like, he still hasn't gone down, so... <laughs> you start bringing your Switch to work now? Thanks, guys, for the idea. Hell yeah. I mean, we didn't really do anything, but you're welcome. <laughs> One day you will complete a Nuzlocke? I want to do that, too. Uh, someday. Someday. They're giving us, like, a shit ton of grenades. I feel like we should be using them. Oh. Did that even go over there? I can't tell if these grenades are actually, like, doing anything. You have a solid point about the Dragon Eevee. All this Pokemon's talk. Die. Nice. I feel like we probably need to take that tank out, but like... <laughs> oh, hi there. You're not friendly, are you? We're gonna die. We're definitely gonna die, dude. Yep, we're dead. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. It was only a matter of time. Uh, I really wish... I'll press action to search the drop. Resistance drop found. Uh, you're welcome. Anyways. I really... W uh, fuck. I don't remember what I wish now. <laughs> I forgot my one and only wish. You want to switch and need to play sword? I need to finish uh, shield. Shield is the one that I was playing. I, I got, I think, about halfway, if I remember correctly. I got you, boy. No worries. I shoot all the damn fools. In this game, you have a caring mom, but you still don't have a dad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No father, Rue. Your mom's sleeping with a hook. <laughs> Why is she sleeping with such an old man? He's not that old. He's just uh, graying prematurely. That's all. <laughs> don't worry about it. Where did everyone else go? The last time we played through this section, didn't we have a bunch of friendlies over here helping us out? Did we get like, did they, did they disappear on us or something? Did it glitch? I don't know. Oak's your pa. He's a good guy. Yeah, Oak's a nice guy, man. Right? Even though he did want to like bang our mom so bad that he just sent a child on a mission across the continent with nothing but a little electric rat. Like, <laughs> that's perfectly normal and healthy, right? You're friendly, right? I'm pretty sure you are. Can I maybe get that stuff over there? Ash's dad died in the Poke War. Wasn't that like some sort of game theory or something? About that? About like who his dad is and what could have happened to his dad? Yes, it is. I thought so. Oh, uh, God. Die. 
Did I did I hit? Are you dead? Okay, you're dead. He got the thickness. Oak be thick. <laughs> Some people even speculate that Surge is his dad. I've heard that. I personally subscribe more to the to the Oak theory, but I uh yeah, I don't think either one was really meant to be his dad though. You actually really like how later in the series they actually make the protag have to be older to go on a journey. Um, I mean, in the later games, you're still pretty young, right? Like, I don't remember how old, so you might be older than what you are in, in the first games. But aren't you still, like, a young teen at best? Like, you're still pretty damn young. <laughs> there is mention of a great war in the game. Yeah, it's uh, X and Y talk about the great war. And then uh, the there's like people like Surge that are running around in, in military style gear. Uh, so between the two, like black and white, the protags are actually 15, 16 year olds. So not really young. Yes, but not as young. I don't know like the age of the ones in the other games or anything like that. Um, black and white are the only ones that aren't new that I haven't finished. I did X and Y. I did, uh, well, okay, that's not true. I also didn't do Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I definitely played, you know, Gold Silver uh, back in the day. Like, if someone gave you an electric mouse as a kid and told you to go travel, you would have taken the deal? I probably would have too, TBH, but like. But still, like, <laughs> take this animal, force it to fight other monsters, and uh, provide for yourself, man. You're not getting no food, no drink, no help. Just take this electric mouse and GTFO so I can tap that mommy ass. <laughs> uh. All right, there's got to be a way to get rid of this tank. Do we have... The church can be found across the stone bridge at the end of the street. Climb the ladder in the church to reach the machine gun. Okay. Climb the ladder. Is it? Oh, nope. nope. <laughs> she gave you shoes, no map, and no father. Yeah. He got some help? Like what, though? I mean, like... <laughs> did he really, though, you know? Like, he, sure, he technically got some help, but just barely, bro. Just barely. Look, I'm glad we're getting all these grenades, but... Like, I still don't know how to take out this fucking tank. Do I just fucking run? Oh, God. Tank's aiming. And, like, again, all of my dudes are gone. Do I... I guess I can just throw some grenades. Just fucking go. Oh shit, I have to like hold it <laughs> to throw it. <laughs> they weren't throwing. I was just dropping them at my feet apparently. <laughs> uh, hi there. I'm, I'm glad your tank seems to be non-functional at the moment because otherwise I would be completely fucked. Hi, Mr. Tank, sir. <laughs> Do you want to forget that I'm here? <laughs> uh, I can't go up there. Can I, can I blow up the tank with grenades? Is the tank, is the tank destroyed? It, I think it's destroyed. I hope it's destroyed. Misty kinda in non-helpful ways. <laughs> uh, like sure, in the anime obviously you got help from real people. But uh, in the games, dude, you're just on your own. You, uh, Gary or whatever you name the antagonist checks up on you every once in a while. So, like, there's that, I guess. But, <laughs> like, that's that's pretty much it. Brock was honestly the MVP. Yeah, dude, they all would have starved to death without him. No joke. Alright, so that must be the church. That's where it wants us to go. Where are his eyes? 
how can your eyes be real if uh, Pokemon aren't real? <laughs> yeah, that's that makes sense. Hi. Oh shit. Uh, apparently, I never reloaded. It's fine. I'll just pistol whip you all to death. Okay. <laughs> He's half Snorlax, has to keep them closed so he doesn't hyper beam everyone. Is he fucking half Snorlax or uh, what was that mutant, dude? The mutant with the laser eyes. He's got to keep them closed so the laser beams don't come out and just fucking destroy everyone. Yeet them halfway across the planet with a blink. Suddenly, uh, we need to make Brock Shaggy memes. Like, like what the Shaggy memes were, but with Brock instead. Tower, tower, get up in the tower. They're getting too close. Maybe you could ask, like, how I'm doing for once, you know? It's always get in the tower and never, hey, are you okay, buddy? What's that? Oh, a box of grenades. I guess that doesn't help us. No, uh, climb. Cyclops, that's the one. Thank you, silence. Press action to use machine gun. Pressing. Brock is on point with them quote unquote donuts. Hmm. I love me is some donuts that look suspiciously like rice balls, you know what I mean? I really wish I could aim a little bit too, that'd be nice. Hi, uh, y'all can die maybe. You know, honestly, like, if we could all just stop killing each other, we wouldn't have to do any of this, you know that, right? Like, we could just not have a war. That's, that's an option too. So you would have to kick out the man currently ruling your country. Uh, that's the only way we can do that. You like balls of rice? Me too, man. I also like balls of various things, really. I also always carry my balls around with me at work in my pocket so I can squeeze them. Two of them, one for each hand, you know? I like to give them a little squeeze sometimes, maybe we'll jiggle them around. Bounce them around just for a little bit of stress relief every every now and then. It's very nice to have some balls to play with whenever you're uh, whenever you're stressing out, you know. So I always, always, always uh, try to <laughs> certain noodle rolling her eyes. What's wrong? You don't like my balls? Variant balls. I almost never use the variant balls in the Pokemon games. Bringing it back to Pokemon for a moment. Uh, the quick ball I did, because the quick ball is handy. Because you can, you know, like, as soon as someone pops up. A uh, Pokemon that you need to catch, you just throw one of them real quick. And if you're lucky, like, that's it. Fueling rosters on the wall in the interrogation room. Breach the wall, you've gone too far. Okay, good to know. So don't breach the, the wall. Welcome to the bro hour. They're very dirty too. My balls are pretty dirty. I should give them a good wash one of these days, but a little lazy though. I do I do wipe them off every once in a while and then um, make sure to put my, my name on them so nobody else plays with my balls, you know? Don't want other people playing with my balls. Could get weird. The master ball? I mean, that's one hell of a variant ball. You always wasted the master ball? I usually did too, but like on accident, right? Like I knew not to use the master ball. I knew what it was and what it was used for and all that BS. But like I'd always be trying to to catch something else and like uh and then I would like accidentally select the master ball or um Oh, I can't go up there. Lame. I'd accidentally select the master ball or I would like run out of regular pokeballs and that would be the last thing that I had left. So I would just use it because like fuck it. Although when I was a kid though, I uh, after beating the Pokemon game so many times, eventually I just started cheating using like a uh, ga Game Shark or Code Breaker or whatever I had for for the for the Game Boy and just gave myself like 99 Pokeballs. Or even before that, man, we figured out how to uh, duplicate Pokemon and then we would uh, duplicate Pokemon holding the the Master Ball and then trade them like back and forth to get a bunch of uh, extra Master Balls. Good times. Good times. Shouldn't you put Noodle's name too? I mean, no. <laughs> she don't need to be playing with my balls. One of them's blue and one of them's green. 
they bounce around so well. Sometimes I like to like see how many times I can hit them in the air without them falling down. Everybody needs a good set of uh, balls to play with, man. I used to carry around a Rubik's cube at work, but then it uh, then it broke. <laughs> it was like the world's smallest, not literally the world's smallest, but that was what it was called, the world's smallest Rubik's cube. And after a while, like it still works, but like uh, it it uh, it wore out. Like the all of the stuff on it. All of the colors, there you go, on the pieces wore out, so you couldn't really tell what was what anymore. To quote Jacksepticeye, I love balls. Same, man. Me and Jacksepticeye are, like, on the same wavelength, dude. Basically the same person. <laughs> Wash your balls. Yep, that sounds unhealthy. <laughs> sounds like you should see a doctor, sir. Nah. What do I need to see a doctor for? Are you guys friendly? How did you get over here if you're friendlies? There was like an interrogation room right here. Why didn't you guys just deal with them? Oh, wait a second. Are you not friendly? Oh, no, you're not friendlies. Okay. Uh, my bad. Well, in that case, then, do y'all just want to kindly die? Here, I'll tell you what. I'll give you this instead. Oh. Uh. That guy's really close. A female Nidoran? What's your name? Ah, uh, that hurt. You didn't have to blow me up, sir. Why'd you have to blow me up? Uh, I don't remember how that song goes. <laughs> the fucking uh, stranger song. I don't know. Noodle used to listen to it all the time. A female Nidoran. Uh, purple bitch. No. Um, <laughs> joking. I told you I'm terrible with nicknames, man. Uh... See, whenever I, like, name animals IRL, I just give them real names. So, like, and I really like alliteration. So, I instantly just think, like, Natalie or, or, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. It has to be food-related. All right, so it's a horny little purple, uh, <laughs> horned turtle. I mean... <laughs> You could probably eat that, technically. <laughs> um, food related. Uh, da, da. What's purple? That's food. Eggplants are purple. Um, the female eggplant? I don't... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Grape? Uh, tiramisu. It doesn't really... It doesn't really uh, go with, like, the purple coloring or anything like that. Uh, but like, I don't know. I just think it sounds like a pretty decent name. Ads? Yes. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. We're running an ad. Be right back. I'm so sorry. Press X to jump. Oh, should we just die? Really? <laughs> There's death enabled in the very first, like, uh, tutorial kind of section here. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Secrets, maybe? Oh, that's death too. There's not even, like, a splash or anything in that, though. You just kind of fall through the water and to the void. That's weird, man. I mean, this is a racing game, obviously, not a uh, platforming game, so that's okay, I guess. We'll uh, we'll accept it. It's fine. Distances require you to do your first double jump. To okay. Overcome. GG. Press. Press square to spin. Yep. Collect you know, coins to buy coins stuff. Gotcha. Collect that coin, Waffle baby. coins? Is that what they said? And I do not like the way the camera feels. Yo. X and circle to do a body slam. Okay, we can do that. Wumpa whip. Coins collected are doubled for a short period of time. What? That's cool. 
All right, so I guess we need to go through this quick or just don't go through it quickly at all. Can we do anything with that? No. Secrets? Secrets? Yes. All the secrets. I do love me get some uh, secrets, though. That's very nice. Very, very nice. We're almost out of time, though. Can we hit the button again? Will that restart the Wumple Whip? No. Okay, it didn't. Oh, well. We tried. I'm pretty sure we ended up getting more coins doing it that way than we would have by riding this slow-ass platform and doing it the way they wanted us to anyways. Are you ready? Crash is Grab and... and very slowly shimmy across very cool very cool okay press x repeatedly to climb a ladder okay yep yep oh look at that we did it <laughs> this is a very watch out for unstable platforms this is a very bad introduction for a racing game, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> jump onto the jump pad. I, uh, I hate whenever there's needless tutorials. Like, obviously some stuff is helpful for anybody that's never played a Crash game before or whatever the case may be, but everything like you any idea of with whom you are dealing devil renowned evil doer dr neo periwinkle cortex i have all your games hey mr noodle for a moment there i think all is lost for one clutch but when i see my favorite video heroes my innards tingle with joy well tingle all you want I have an appointment with world domination. <laughs> I need more races to recover my power gems. Whoever is first to bring all the power gems will uh -huh. the ownership of my bark. And look, even my beloved black power gem is gone. Perhaps this is the answer to our dilemma. This deranged theme park is fertile ground for us to plant a new seed of evil. Yes. So whoever gets all the power gems gets the theme park? ourselves of the bandicoots all at the same time not so fast i'm mm -hmm. pasadena opossum i'm racing for old von clutch and i'm gonna whoop you that's for sure so if i, I mean win, you'll have like the deed to this amusing i kind of like that there's no a story asked? to the game right like it's nice but i don't know like this is kind of kind of dumb you know I mean, I guess it's better than like Mario Kart or something that doesn't have one at all, but Clutch, it's also in. just kind of, it feels a little shoehorned in, like a little unnecessary. I guess they were just going like for the very lighthearted sort of deal with it, you know, with the ridiculous characters and all of the, the, the premise obviously being a bit whatever. So, I mean, in, in that sense, you know, I guess it, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Are we actually entering the theme park now? But yeah, on the, uh, the, the PS5 note, though, man. So, yeah, I got it. I, like I said, I played it a bit. I haven't got to play it a whole lot, but, uh, I've still, I've got it. I've had some fun with it. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII on it, um, because Final Fantasy VII, one of my favorite games. Uh, the original at least and I played the remake on the PS4 but there's a free PS5 upgrade so I've been playing that and uh, I don't know if anybody out there has played the PS4 remake of Final Fantasy 7 but there's a very common problem where some textures don't appear the most obvious one being the door to Cloud's apartment is just not textured like at all for some reason <laughs> and like it's such a well-known problem I don't know why they never fixed it but they didn't. Square just kind of ignored it. So anyways, the PS5 remake though, it finally fixes it, man. That alone made it worth buying a PS5, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm being a, a bit facetious, obviously. I don't think you should buy a whole PS5 just to fix up one glitch in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hello! I'm back. What did I miss? I see I've missed some messages. Put peanut butter on the celery? You don't like peanut butter root? What? I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter. But, like, I like it. And on celery, it's good. 
So got to play BL3 Borderlands 3. You've been playing Elden Ring and Odyssey. Dude, I fucking love Elden Ring. That's what the newest episode of my tits is on. It's on Elden Ring. So good. Sorry, I'm catching my breath after coming up the stairs. You got it on PC with all the DLC again. You need a new PC. Odyssey is awesome. You haven't gotten Elden Rings yet. Odyssey as in like Mario Odyssey because I love that game too. One of the best, uh, whatchamacallit games in quite a while. Uh, da -da -da -da. Mario games in quite a while, man. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You only get to play like three hours a week? Bro, same. <laughs> I get to play a lot of PS2 games, but that's that's about it. I wish I had more time to play other stuff, but it is what it is. Peanut butter is so good, celery, no. I like celery. And peanut butter is okay. It's not my favorite thing, but it's not terrible either. Honey roasted peanut butter? Dude, honey and peanut butter sandwiches back when I still ate sugar. I didn't eat it a whole lot, but that shit was pretty good. You just, you just, take, you just take a piece of bread, you put honey on it. Take another piece of bread, put some peanut butter on it, and then you you just fucking slap them bitches together. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I did like that. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, I haven't played that one yet. I Someday, <laughs> at some point, I want to play through all of the Assassin's Creed games. I recently played through the first one again, though, and realized how bad it is. <laughs> Like, it's not bad. It's just extremely repetitive and at this point kind of outdated. Which was, uh, you know, upsetting. Because when I was growing up, I absolutely adored that game. That was, like, the first game we got for PS3. And I played it non-stop. Like, holy hell. Um, but, yeah, no. And now I'm just like, meh, it's okay, I guess. But I want to play through the other ones. I, I really, really want to play through the other ones. Like... Cause they're uh they get better as they get as they go along uh i believe and that's what most people have told me as well you just got a new mario shirt i need more mario shirts because uh somebody noodle wink wink nudge nudge steals all of my mario and pokemon shirts <laughs> and ran won't shut up uh i'm sorry i don't <laughs> it's wonderful and so easy to get caught up exploring shut your mouth <laughs> The newer ones, like I said, I'm sure are a lot better, but the older ones are just, I don't know, man. They're just repetitive. Very, very repetitive. What? I was saying how much I love you, Noodle, and you're the bestest person ever. Oh, you heard? <laughs> then why'd you even say what? Uh, we share. Yeah, we share. Involuntarily in some cases, but we share. <laughs> We were so close to the end of that mission before the break. If I had known, well, no, I guess we couldn't really done anything anyways because the the ad started auto playing and I uh, kind of missed it there. This Mario shirt is a comfy sleep shirt. Yeah, see, and I like to just wear it like normally. You try to wear it to bed every night. I just want to wear it out of the house because it it is comfy. <laughs> it's a good shirt. You don't disagree, but repetition is my home. Like, I mean, yeah, and that's, if you, like, if it's your thing, dude, that's perfectly fine, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on anyone for, for really loving the classic Assassin's Creed games or whatever, but it just wasn't for me. Like, the first couple hours of it, probably even more than that, you know? The first, like, ten, five, five to ten hours of it was like, dude, this is fucking awesome. But then hours, like, you know, 20, it's just like, I've been doing the same thing nonstop for the past 20 hours. Uh, somebody help me, please. <laughs> the exploring part is a lot of fun, but again, I feel like it's a lot more fun in the new games because the exploring in the original one ended up being mostly just, uh, like, cause, cause everything is so gray and brown. Like there wasn't a lot of variation in the world either, which, which bugged me, right? All the cities ended up looking kind of samey. Uh, like the, the, the few cities that you could explore. So it's just like, it has issues is all I'm saying, but it's still a good game. Again, I'm not trying to tell anyone it's not a good game or they shouldn't play it or whatever. Like, no, it's fun. And if you already know you like it, then fucking enjoy the hell out of it, dude. Don't let anyone tell you not to. 
But uh, the world in Odyssey is what you were talking about? Oh, well, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure the world in Odyssey is cool, too. <laughs> got a uh, MP40, a Colt 45. Where did we get an MP40? We got in that crate with nothing but... Well, no, we had a, a Garand and a uh, whatever sidearm we're carrying now. Why is this dude... You literally got a pistol in your hand. Why are you punching me? Bruh. You can jump so far, though. I mean, that's true. You can do that. But can't you can't you jump so far in the other Assassin's Creed, too? They have done better with that. Nah, you're right, though. And that's what I was saying. Like, yeah. That's why... That's Again, that's why I really want to play, like, the other ones, though. It's for that very reason. Because I think formula-wise, they, they got a really great game going on, you know? I just think the first one could have been executed so much better. And everyone keeps telling me how much better executed it is in the in the future games. Like Odyssey, for instance, and uh, Valhalla, and, and, and uh, insert other name of game here. Also, dude, why are you bringing a knife to a gunfight? <laughs> I'm, I really don't want to just, like, pistol whip all these bros to death, but, like, oh, holy hell. There's just so many of them that came out of nowhere. Also, uh, is there any more health? <laughs> Guys, I'm a little hurt, man. I could use some help. I guess maybe I should have been using the MP40. Go down. Can I? Ah, that's how you do it. I was wondering how we picked up this shit over here. Well, I mean, the extra ammo is nice, but <laughs> well, we really needed some help. The constant pulsating of the controller in my hand is kind of telling me that we're about to die. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, though. Mowing the cheese a bit more, then it'll be done. Do you want sour cream? I'll take a dollop. Do a dollop. Do, do a dollop. Do a dollop of daisies. Auto parks. Uh, maybe die? Nope, we're dead. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. So I'm assuming that we picked up the MP40 from one of them. Altier jumps farther than any other game. That. Okay. <laughs> oh. Did I say? What did I say? Oh, 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 Riley's auto parts. Do a dollop. Do, do a dollop. Do a dollop of Daisy auto parts. Yeah, no, I mixed the two. I meant to mix the two, but I was just like, I don't know. I feel like I, I, you confused me, okay? Cause fuck bullets. You just realized you can get carne asada fries from loose seats. I still need to try some of uh, what you were talking about, the carne asada stuff. One of these days. My frames, oh no. Are frames dropping? We got we got frames dropping. It's not on my side, so if there's frames dropping, I'm sorry. You still haven't tried them? No, I haven't been to a Mexican restaurant to try them. You don't remember? <laughs> uh, you know, fair, honestly. Press action to open door. Okay, door is open. Oh, there's more health up there. If we end up needing it, keep that in mind. Told you how long ago to try some, man. I don't know. It's probably like three months ago or something. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, just like maybe not shoot me. Or like maybe get shot. Holy fuck, dude. I hate everything. <laughs> yeah, die, please. Thank you. Oh, hi. I have like no accuracy, man. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. It was you? Okay. I figured it was just because, like I said, it, OBS is telling me that I'm not dropping frames. And uh, OBS is God, so, like. Uh, hold on, I need to I need to reload. So if you don't mind just not shooting me for a moment, just shoot your hand a little bit. Hi there. Hi there. Dude, I shot you like in the face 20 times with an MP40. There ain't no way you're still alive. Oh. I don't know what that valve did, but there we go. I turn. Oh, there's a guy here. Hi, random guy that's still alive. Uh, I thought everyone was dead. Let's go back and get that health that we left in the closet. I'm not feeling so well, guys. 
I think I might have been shot. It's alright, we're good now. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh... Are you all dead? Hello? Wait, am I taking damage? Is the steam hurting me? I think the steam hurts. I mean, it makes sense, right? Steam's hot. But I, I didn't expect it to, to be hurting me. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Press action to place... Uh, should we be placing demolition charges? Are we underwater right now, or are we on land? Oh, the engines have been disabled, and I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't know if I can get through here without dying. So we have no health left. Can I, can I go in, like, is this the torpedo bay or something? What is this? Oh, wait. Is this actually somewhere we can go? Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a ladder here. Oh, guys, be quiet. I'm hunting me some wabbit. Please hit him. Please hit him. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. No, shoot him. Shoot him. Die. Please die. Holy fuck. Okay. And we got a medical kit. We are good. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on someone's door with that. Hi, would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, OBS? Uh, what the fuck is OBS? Don't worry about it. Uh, da da da. Hey guys, just to warn you, uh, some shit might be blowing up here soon. Maybe, maybe not. Never mind. I guess, I guess my explosives just don't work anymore. Why aren't you blowing up? Do. Uh, hello, game. AOE damage. Oh, shit. I really wish I could reload ahead of time, man. Uh, how are you still alive, man? I filled that whole room full of bullets. Like, I know the accuracy was shit, but, like, there had to be at least one or two that hit you, right? Oh, thank God for medicinal canteens. <laughs> You don't have like a first aid kit in here or something, man? Uh, Jesus, fuck, why can't I reload before I go into an area? Also, why are you not dead? I shot you first on purpose. Fuck. Are you dead now? Nope, you're still standing, okay. I didn't realize you had to shoot someone 16 times before they died. Stupid me for thinking one would be enough. It's all right. Everything's fine. Hi there, Mr. Radio Operator, sir. Radio communication disabled. Uh, you're welcome. I think that's was something I was supposed to be doing, right? Huh. <sighs> Dude, I hope that food's done soon, Noodle, because it fucking smells amazing, bro. Like, honestly, it does. It smells really, really good. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, waste the rest of this clip so I can reload. Because that's the only way to reload. Like, DualShock, he's raiding with a party of two. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, now where were we? I guess we're just trying not to die right now. That shock raid, we're under attack. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, thank you, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Move closer to place demolition truck. Wait, where? Where was this demolition truck? Oh, hi. Uh, We're going to die. Holy fuck, dude. Track him, track him. Don't track him. How about you just forget he exists? You could do that. That's an option too, right? There's no one like hiding behind one of these boxes, is there? Everybody, everybody good? Okay. Thank goodness. All right. So place the charge and then just run. <laughs> ah, hi. Holy fuck. Uh, we're dead. Ah, it's okay. Deep breaths. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, man. 
No problem, I do. Glad to pass on the love. Well, I appreciate it, man. I really, really do. Uh, do y'all want to maybe, like, die? Can I, can I just open the crate, please? <laughs> why is, why is the crate not going down this time? There it goes. Holy hell. It did not want to go down. It was just, it was stuck there forever. Thank you again, love. The food looks amazing. Oh, the MP4 was just sitting there. I didn't even see that before. We must have just picked it up by chance, but... How's Frontline going? It's pretty good. Um, I am terrible at first-person shooters on console. So, like, there's that. I'm more of a uh, keyboard mouse person. I used to play first-person shooters on console back in the day. But these days, I'm more of a uh, keyboard and mouse kind of guy. And I just, I, I cannot with a joystick anymore. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> example A, uh, you were about to say, yeah. So, there's that, but it's fun, though. Like, it's actually pretty decent as far as, you know, a PS2 shooter goes. The only thing that's killing me is the fact that you can't reload. Like, there's no reload button as far as I can tell. You just have to use up the clip and then uh, move on to the to the next section. Which is uh, kind of surprising, I guess. Cause, I mean, it's been a long time since I've played a PS2 shooter of any sort. Uh, outside of kill zone, but I'm pretty sure they still usually have reload buttons, right? I don't think I'm crazy on that. Awesome to hear. I'm guessing uh, Frontline is a game that you really like to play. See, personally, right now, I'm just playing through uh, all of the PS2 games. Uh, okay, so can we like turn off the steam? We turned the valve. Okay, that turned off the steam there. Uh, or, sorry, I'm trying all of the PS2 games. I don't have time to play through all of them as much as I wish I did. But, uh, anyways, and yeah, so, like, I've just been using a, uh, random, a random game picker that I have to, uh, to pick out of the, the discs that I own. And, uh, just playing whatever, whatever it suggests, man. And, uh, tonight it suggested Frontline, so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. You just finished European Assault. Frontline's next. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Good for you. You play a lot of uh, PS2 shooters then? Or uh, I guess it probably released on like Xbox and whatnot too, I would imagine, right? Alright, maybe this time get a little bit farther away from the explosion. Like, so we don't almost die. Engines disabled. Hell yeah. You got to shoot off screen. <laughs> That's some good advice. Silence. Thank you. I'll take it. All right. This food is like sitting in front of me. So now I got to, I got to try it at least. Got to, got to let Noodle know if her, uh, if her recipe that she followed here was any good. Got to try not to drop anything though. Hold on. Get around the mic setup. Okay. The broccoli tastes amazing. So the vegetables are fried well. Or sauteed well, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Okay. And that lazy enchilada thing? That's pretty good too. I like it. You said it was easy to make? We could put that on the rotation. So what is it exactly? You said it's, uh, you said it's something just like fried up a little bit. Some sort of, uh, I'm assuming it's like a, a frozen, a frozen thing or something that you, uh, that you fried up or, or, or what is it? Noodle. If you're still listening and able to, to talk. And then what's it like cooked in? This this red stuff is is it enchilada sauce? I'm pretty sure you said, but I don't I don't remember. You played it on GameCube. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, dude. I missed the GameCube too. I loved my GameCube growing up. I didn't have a ton of games for it. I remember playing a lot of uh, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. Played a lot of those on it because I loved those from the N64. 
Super Mario Sunshine, because, like, come on. Sunshine is amazing. One of the best Mario games out there. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum, of course. Big Pokemon guy. Uh, what else, man? I didn't really play Wind Waker all that much on it, surprisingly. But... I know I'm missing stuff. I uh, Sonic Heroes, I remember playing Sonic Heroes. Dude, I don't know. So much stuff. Honestly, I just love the GameCube. It was a great console. I don't think it got uh, all the love that it deserved, man. Underrated, honestly. You're making you, I'm making you hungry, Silence. I'm sorry. The food's good, though. That's all I'm saying. You got chicken taquitos. Bake them for 10 minutes. Pour on enchilada sauce. Cover them with cheese and then baked for 10 more minutes? Dude, okay. So, taquitos, whatever kind you like. Bake them for 10 minutes to crisp them up. And then pour on some enchilada sauce and cover with cheese. And then bake to melt. That's, I mean, whatever. It, it's good. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. The game's being pricey on GameCube? Holy hell. I have a GameCube, but I have, like, next to no games for it. And that's one of the reasons why... Because the games are very pricey on it. Nintendo stuff in general seems to to be more expensive than the other options. Um, I'm not sure why. I guess it's probably like a nostalgia thing for a lot of people, you know, growing up with and, and loving the GameCube and shit. Wait, is everyone dead? No, you're still alive. I'm almost dead. Did I miss any health packs anywhere? I think I'm going to go back and see if we actually missed a health pack anywhere by any chance because uh lord knows we definitely need it okay medicinal canteen that's something i'll take it actually just talking about how you found your game boy yeah we were the game boy games are crazy too and the pokemon games especially you know so it just seems like nintendo owned proper properties are just expensive um and then on the gamecube and i guess that's probably one of the reasons why like third party stuff is so expensive um, on the GameCube is probably because the, uh, like I said, it doesn't seem to get the love that it deserves. Uh, Field Surgeon Pack, hell yeah. Like, uh, back in the day, I feel like it wasn't nearly as popular as the other consoles, the, the Xbox and the PS2. And so there probably just aren't as many games floating around for it. Where am I supposed to be going? Check all of the officer's bunk rooms. The code book is inside a cabinet. Find Enigma code book. Okay. Can we find the code book? Got another medicinal canteen. Dope. Or do I need to go back downstairs? Might need to go back downstairs. And go the, the direction that we haven't gone yet. Although it would make sense for the code book to be like near the radio thing here, right? Because they would need to like decode the the well, <laughs> decode the codes, I guess. <laughs> People say they prefer red sauce with beef and green with chicken, but you've never had the green, so you were scared. Oh, cabinet. There we go. Is that the code book? A. Okay, so now we just need to escape through the exit hatch. Is that, like, here somewhere? Or do I go, maybe I go back down. Because there, there was that hatch that we climbed up the last run when we died. But it was, like, closed off up top. So maybe if we just go back down here, it'll be in that room. Okay, I'm glad there's no, like, fall damage. So we're eating the the chicken with chicken with red instead of the way people recommend then. I mean it's still good, so whatever. You good cook? Om nom nom. Yes, you are, love. You did a good job. Okay. Oh, so we could have. Uh, that just turns off the other things. That's all that was for. All right, so the escape hatch, though, I'm sure we must have walked, like, right past it upstairs or something, man. It's got to be around here. It's got to be. All right, going back upstairs. I'm sure I just, like, completely overlooked it. 
Uh, ladder, okay. Okay, so it's not in this room, right? There was a health pack there the whole time, though. Uh, that would have been good to see. Okay, nothing in this room with the with the 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 poor people bunks. Ah, you an escape hatch? You could be an escape hatch. There we go. Hell yeah. The fight continues. Well, the fight is gonna have to continue another day. Because after I take this bite of delicious food, get it down real quick so I can talk. Oh boy, that's all we have time for tonight, actually, guys. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, sadly, it's one twenty-seven. That definitely doesn't leave enough time to finish up another mission. So I think we're gonna have to call it there for the night. Um, but just like how a dual shocky. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. And uh, as I was saying, just how Dual Shocky spread the love to us with the raid. Why don't we go ahead and find someone to raid as well? Does anyone have any suggestions? Anyone that's uh, doing anything cool that they like to watch that's on? Let's see, what do we got? I mean, since we were playing Medal of Honor, it would make sense to maybe uh, go to another Medal of Honor guy. Is there anyone else playing Medal of Honor? Like one of the older ones, not one of the new ones, preferably? Bunch of airborne people. There's me playing Frontline. Pacific Assault. What is the... Pacific Assault. That is a... Slightly older game, right? You'll be here all night. <laughs> what at the uh, at work, man? I'm sorry about that. Um, no, 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 no. Oh my god, the food is very good. It is very, very good. Uh, we don't have to do Medal of Honor though. If anyone has any other suggestions, something that uh, like I said, if anyone knows anyone cool that's doing some some neat stuff or whatever. Food. I'm making everybody hungry. We need to find a good uh food stream. We could just uh, <laughs> we could do that one. I'll tell you what. It's, uh, Game Done Quick is playing Buddy Simulator 1984. Grand Pooh Bear is doing Nintendo Switch Sports, which actually looks really cool. Uh, Grand Pooh Bear, for anyone who doesn't know right now, is doing, uh, first off, he's like a Mario streamer and a uh, really cool guy. Love watching his content. Anyways, right now he's doing like a subathon and, uh, he's been streaming for a long time, nonstop. Uh, just, <laughs> I don't know how many subs he's up to at this point, but it must be a lot because he's still freaking going, man. After quite a while, it, it's had to have been like a week or more at this point. It's insane. Switch Sports. I know, Switch Sports actually looks like a lot of fun. I do really want to play it at some point. How about an older Halo or COD? We could do one of those too. I'm fine with one of those. I see, uh... Let's see what COD games we've got going on. Call of... Call of Duty. Uh, I don't know. 3 was on the PS2, right? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. When you search for Call of Duty, though, it's bringing up, like, nothing but Warzone. <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone. Call of Duty Warzone. Black Ops 3. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> if I knew, like, a specific channel that was doing it, I could. But it's just bringing up... Warzone stuff. Oh, your phone's still messing up on you, Noodle? I'm sorry about that, love. Uh, what about Halo, though? That's probably mostly going to be the new Halo game. Dead by Daylight, Neo. Okay, that's just... A lot of people also have Halo in their name, apparently. Because <laughs> it's just bringing up, like, every game known to man. There's the Master Chief Collection. That's kind of older. But... I'll just try retro, just general retro. Let's see, who do we who do we got? Doing general retro stuff. What are uh See the problem with uh searching for retro is that uh you don't know like what people are actually playing. Like Trick that Algi? 
Uh, <laughs> did, did you just have a stroke or am I not understanding what you're saying? <laughs> Trick that algae. Okay, that doesn't seem to be a person. <laughs> Do I want your veggie scraps? I mean, yeah, I'll take some veggie scraps. She only eats like the heads on broccoli and stuff, so then I take all the stems. It's ridiculous, but you know, I love her. So what are you gonna do? Stroke. Okay. <laughs> Speed gaming is doing Pokemon Yellow. That's kind of topical. Speed gaming. I'm assuming it's Speed Gaming One and not Speed Gaming Two. <laughs> I'm assuming. Let me click on it. Yes, they are. Okay. You better love me? Of course I love you, love. But anyways, guys, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, go on over and watch some speed gaming, playing some Pokemon Yellow. It isn't exactly what I was doing, but uh, it should be interesting. Speedruns of Pokemon games are fun. So let's go ahead and uh, go check him out if everybody wants to join or whatever. No need to, like, say anything specific or anything like that. Uh, just, you know, we're gonna stop in, say hello, and, uh, yeah, watch some, watch some cool Pokemon speedrunning stuff, I guess, man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, everyone, have a good night, and thank you so much for joining me. I will see you probably tomorrow night with another PS2 game of some sort. Bye-bye, guys.